let's go ahead. Let's get dinner going. Again, this is what is for dinner. The only thing that I did wrong, uh, well, I, I do a lot wrong, apparently, but uh, I got this confused with the special sausage, minced sausage. So, what you gonna do? It's minced meat, so it probably is not that big of a deal. So, this is the goulash. And it's kind of cooled down. It's not super hot, but it definitely uh still a little warm. The potatoes and goulash. And you can see it's got some uh, hunks of meat in there, along with the potatoes, probably some carrots. I'm sure somebody will be able to uh, give us uh, accurate ingredients list in the comment section. So here we go. A little bit of goulash. A little bit of beef. Alright. And then we have this is the what exactly? Spick, spigic, some something like that. Uh, and this is the fat kind of stuff. So let me open this up and speak it, something like that. Sepik. Sepik in lard. So, and this is not supposed to be heated, so that is what I was advised. So, if you look at it. Sipic, sipic, whatever in lard. So there we go. That is that. Oops. This is the apple puree, the dessert. a lot like applesauce. There that is. Again, this is our other uh, minced meat. And then the last package of wheat crackers, the darker crackers. Now the cheese. Uh, yeah, I uh, just wanted to heat it up slightly and I went ahead and uh, got occupied doing other things. And the reason why these are rain pool cans is they're designed if there's an incident to uh, blow off. So, uh, yeah, I kind of cooked the cheese on accident. So, don't worry. I'll be reminded of this cheese for a long time because I'll probably be cleaning it from parts of my house for the next year. So, all right. And then we've got this uh, peach drink. But I did not make this cherry drink, so I'll be making both. And then we have the tea. And since I had tea for lunch, I'll just hang on to this one for a souvenir. Okay, as well, we have our last napkin, our last hygiene wipe, and our last water purification tablet. 
So let's go ahead and mix the drinks. Okay, I foolishly said last time that I, I didn't think these were real sweet. Well, the problem was uh, the sugar settled to the bottom. So take a look at these pictures. All right, so let's go ahead and let's make the cherry. Another 200 ml of water. The cherry drink. And we'll mix with a knife that I still have retained. And you have to mix this really good to uh, start absorbing some of that salt. If not, have this hot so the sugar will absorb. And we'll do the peach. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to start with uh, goulash. Okay, again, nice chunks of meat, nice chunks of potatoes. And that's good because that meat has a, has a good bite to it. So that's very, very pleasant. And again, the wheat crackers. And we even put some goulash on the crackers. See how that is. That's pretty tasty too. All right, the sepik. Is that what this is called? Sepik in lard. So this might be a good opportunity to use your salt or your pepper, but you're never going to know until you try something, right? And I'm glad I really didn't complain and whine and cry because this is actually pretty tasty. The, the lard gives it a nice greasy quality. Well, maybe not nice is the word, but the actual sepic, whatever that is, is very tasty. So let me wipe off this spoon real quick so I can try the, the puree. And it looks pretty much like applesauce. Except for it's it's applesauce, but even silkier. It's even thinner. So, pretty tasty. All right, let's go ahead and try the next thing. We're going to go ahead and try this minced meat pate, delicate pate. And it is real soft, so you can really... Uh, piece of bread right here or a biscuit it is a little bland so but outside of that it's not too bad and let's try our drinks this one is the cherry. And all that stuff I said about uh, maybe putting some sugar into it, uh, yeah, don't, uh, don't do that. It's all kind of pooled down here on the bottom. That is good. That is a good flavor. And I believe this is peach. Give it a little 
a little swish. Pretty good. Well, uh, I didn't use my last sugar packet. I will be using this to clean myself up. And I didn't use any of my purification tabs. So this was dinner. All right, just wanted to go ahead and close out with finishing up my gum. And these are like little chiclet kind of pieces. I also wanted to go ahead and uh, say what a great idea that this field stove is. Of uh, the French ration and the other rations that I've had that have come with a small foldable stove, this one is probably the best one that I've used. In fact, I'm going to keep this. So, uh, use it for other things in the future. Alright everybody, it's time for me to go ahead and close out this four part series on the Russian IRP. This one was a blast. There was so much food in this thing. I don't know how somebody eats this in a, a 24 hour period. But anyway, uh, thank you very much, Saskamon. Dude, I couldn't have done this without you. And uh, let's go ahead and close this out like friends. I've got some uh, rot gut vodka. Sadruzia.